What is going on guys, Healy here, and today I'm going to be debuting the Future Stars, Brennan McKay. He was available in the headliners yesterday, so you can pull him out of headliners packs. You can also pull him out of standard packs. He'll be in packs for the remainder of the year. This dude is a 98 overall. He's a lefty batter, lefty thrower. His pitch repertoire, not the best. He has a four seam curve cutter and a changeup. Would have been nice if he had a slider somewhere in there, but he does have a cutter, which could act as a slider. For the most part though, not the best pitch selection. His per nines are pretty decent. 99 stamina, 94 hits per nine, 102 Ks per nine, 99 walks per nine, 94 control. So all around the board, per nines are great. His repertoire, not so great. What's the hype about this card? His hitting stats. You face a right-handed pitcher, he has 89 contact versus righties, 92 power. Versus lefties, 74 contact and 80 power. So it doesn't matter who you face, lefty or righty. This guy is going to be a threat up at the plate. A couple of new additions to the squad. We have Prestige Mariano Rivera. So everything got boosted up three points. Uh, his cutter, four seam sinker, all got a boost one, uh, one mile per hour. His changeup got a little bit slower. That is cool. Also at first base for us, Prestige Jim Tomey. I'm excited to try him out against lefties. He gets bumped up to 92 contact. He has better fielding now. His reaction's actually in the 60s now. His speed's 44. Before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you click that like button. It's the best way to show support. Hit that subscription button if you're new and enjoy the content. I do upload a weekly sports podcast called Standing Room Only. Available on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. The links to that, along with all my other social medias, are in the description down below. But we are the home team. We are going to be playing in Tampa Bay. We're going up against Corey Kluber. I feel like I'm facing him every single game now again. He has Jackie, Mickey Mantle, Jim Tomey, Chipper Jones, DD, Sheffield, Reggie Jackson, and Craig Biggio. So we have to face three lefties in the lineup. That's pretty good. Didn't go with the changeup initially. And he's trying to bunt Jose Ramirez. And he gets on, of course. If you see Jackie Robinson at the top of the order, you are going to want to just move the second baseman in. Wide step curve. And Craig Biggio, perfect throw. We don't get him out. Change up. And this one's right at Didi. Nice. One out. All right, so this guy is going to the righty already. He must have a platoon for, like, almost everyone. Oh, Didi. Nice job. Luckily, I switched on to Didi. That was good. Do have a chance for a double play here. Didi, he makes the play. Jose Ramirez at first. Double play, inning over. I did switch the camera. We are now on strike zone two. I was usually on stream last night. And I feel like I see the ball a little bit better. I've been struggling recently. I feel like I can see the ball a lot better and react to it a little more. Popped him up. I just want some big hits today. That's all I'm looking for. Look at that. That is a big hit very late. Of course. <laughs> but hey, he bunted in the first. We'll take that. And we're late. Jose Ramirez, he hits it hard. Right at Chipper Jones, though. We get one hit. Nothing to do with it. That's okay. Didi, he rolls over. Jose Ramirez, easy play. I don't know. Well, I've thrown the curveball once, but let's see how it looks. We get an out from it, so that's cool. Now two outs. Reggie Jackson. He gets that one up the middle. We left it a little bit outside, so he's able to get that weak contact up the middle. Lefty, lefty. We want to try to do something. Now, here's the weird question. Do we walk? No, we don't walk Biggio. We get it in fair territory, get him out at first. The pitcher spot was on deck. That was the question. But you would put him in scoring position, and this guy's been weird. He could have taken out Kluber immediately. Kipper Jones. He's been okay for me. He hasn't been too hot. 
Perfect. As he gets a perfect hit to the gap. Off. No, not off the wall. Bounces off the wall, though. We're going to hold up at second base. You like seeing that. We're at the seven spot. Didi needs to do something. Go, Didi. Everything's low. All right, Biggio with two outs. And he's going to fly out. We're just late on it. Needed to try to do something, but not that inning. I can't string together hits. I can get hits and a lot of them in the game, just not consecutively. Luber, of course, gets a base hit. That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to walk in with runners in scoring position. Jackie's now up. Wow, he hits this one to the track. We're going to be there with Jay Hay. No. Yes. That's cool. Just early. Let's try to go low and away with this. No. Woo! I'm missing my spots. And against a lot of these righties he has in this lineup, would be runs. Brandon McKay. 90, 90 power? Something like that. He goes oppo. McKay. McKay with the home run. Yes. He gets us on the board. One to nothing. He has to do it all for us. Let's add on more runs. Love to see it. Come on. Eric Davis. This one, he's all the way over there. Reggie Jackson's playing against the wall. Jim Tomey's now up for us. He's 0 for 1 in the game. And he's going to be 0 for 2. Short stop. Easy play. 44 speed. Not enough for that. Terrible contact. But hey, we get a run. Thanks to Brendan McKay. Turn him off with a changeup last time. Get him to fly out on a fastball. And we strike out Didi. And Hutter inside. That's going to do it. And it's time for us to hit. Hey, hey, he grounds into the shift. Great slurve. Great spot. Ripper Jones, he's one for one today. He got a perfect hit. And my PCI, not even close. Uh, yeah, yeah. We still only have one run. The hitting struggles are continuing. I'm making some solid contact. It's not doing much, though. Of course, we get a perfect spot right there. He reaches base, start off the inning. Another lefty, lefty hit. Or seam. And he flies out. Missed our spot, but we get the result. Chipper to second. Ramirez to first double play. Yes. Took that to our advantage right there. E.D. Gregorius. I don't have a hit with him in like 12 ABs. Perfect. Didi, perfect hit, and he dove. No. Reggie Jackson got up right away. I was hoping it would get by him. Biggio. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. Brendan McKay, the reason why we have one run in this game. And he has his second hit of the ball game. I wish you could pinch hit starting pitchers. He'd be a must-have in the rotation then. ED, 0 for 2. 0 2 count to Eric Davis. And Eric Davis! Not even close. Come on, man. I'm putting the ball bat on the ball. I'm hitting it decently hard. And he's gonna get on, isn't he? Dipper Jones! No, he isn't! Keep trying to bunt. And of course, we, we get the right spot and he gets on base. Dams it in the right field. Needed that out right there. Chipper Jones. He could make us pay. Brendan McKay. No. Don't tell me. Yes. Chipper Jones underneath this. Let's go. No run score. Now let's score. We have five hits. Brendan McKay's two of them. 
Perfect. Mickey, up the middle, another perfect hit. Tommy, left field, and Jim Tommy goes yard in his debut. This guy quits while the ball's in the air. He couldn't take any more. So technically, we went three to nothing. Would have wanted him to at least let the ball drop, but hey, we get a rage quit. Eric Davis, 0 for 3. Mickey Mantle, 2 for 3. Jim Tomey, 1 for 3 with a two-run bomb. Jose Ramirez, 0 for 2. Jason Hayward, 0 for 2. Chipper Jones got a hit. Didi got a hit. Craig Biggio, no hits. Brendan McKay, home run and another hit. He went 2 for 2. Pitching-wise, he goes six innings, seven hits, one strikeout. So he does get a quality start. No runs allowed, so that was pretty good, especially with the amount of hits he let up. No strikeouts, really. It wasn't all-star difficulty, so pretty hard to get strikeouts there, but I'm surprised he didn't get smacked. If you guys have used Brendan McKay yourselves, let me know how you've done with him in the comments section down below. Seems like a fun card to use. Doesn't seem like it will be a spectacular card to use, especially on the higher difficult. Let me know your experiences if you got them down below. This is going to be it for the video, though. As always, make sure you click that like button. Best way to show support. Hit the subscription button if you're new and enjoy the content. There's going to be two videos on the screen right now. One of them is my most recent video. The other one is a random video. Check them out if you have not already. Anyways, this is Healy, and I'm out. Peace.